Enumerated types are a great way to abstract unchanging data to a fixed set of constants. This video will cover how you can use a single enum to store multiple fields with Python. The first thing I'm going to do is create a folder for all of our project code to live in. I'm going to do this with the terminal with make directory folder name better Python enums, whatever you want, and then open it up with VS code like so. And then when I hit enter, it should open this window right here with everything we need. All right, now that we're in VS code, I'm going to create a file on the left side. So click here, enum demo.py. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do at the top is import enum, like so. This is built into Python, so you don't have to install anything, assuming you have Python 3 already. Next thing is we're gonna define our enum class. So let's do class, let's do it for mammals, singular enum.enum .enum, takes that in as a parameter and then let's define three mammals down here uh, the first one being dog and this can just be enum.auto now this isn't really what the video is about using enum.auto but it's more of a base case in that it's how we've dealt with enums in the past so we'll also do a cat enum.auto and then last one we'll do human me and you enum.auto like so Cool, now we've defined our mammal class. Let's create a helper function that given an enum returns the sound that this mammal makes. So I'll make a function called get sound. And again, this is all just base case. So this isn't the final product, but just to show you how dealing with enums normally is and creating these helper functions to expand on enum information. So in my get sound function, we need to have some logic for depending on what enum we get, we return the correct sound. We could do if else, we could do switch. I'm just gonna use a dictionary. So enum to sound dictionary, like so. And then in here, we're going to have three entries for each of the enums. And I'm gonna use the magic of VS Code's multiple cursor here to make my life easy. So you can just do mammal dot, we're gonna go up here and grab each of the entries. And then let's map them to sounds. So the first one, the dog makes woof, cat goes meow, and human goes I love Python enums. Nice. And then down here, I'm just gonna return the entry in the dictionary with the get function. And then we can just do mammal enum like that. Don't forget to put a return statement. All right, cool. So now let's test out get sound with three print statements. So print, get sound, and now let's pass in each of the enum entries, like so. Okay, I just passed in all three. Now let's go ahead and run this in the terminal. So running it, python3 or python enum demo.py, we'll see that we get each of the correct sounds that we had defined up here in the function. This is annoying though, because Every time we add an enum entry to this class, we have to expand this function. So it scales two times. Here's where the beauty of Python enums come into play. So let's refactor our class here so that we can get rid of this function. So first step is every enum entry is gonna map to a tuple. And then inside this tuple, we're gonna have multiple entries. So the first one I'm gonna do is uh, just have the name of the enum in lowercase. Look at these shortcuts that VS Code has to offer. I can move with lightning speed. And then the next entry, I'm gonna grab uh, the three sounds right here. I'll just do it like this. No mouse, no mouse allowed. And then the last one I'm gonna paste like so. And then below these entries, we're gonna have a new function called init, kind of like a class constructor. And init takes self because it's a class function and then it's going to take two parameters and these two parameters that I'm going to define up here map to the two parameters that we have in these tuples. So first let's make this function have a pass statement. Okay so now uh, the first one I'll just call it title and then the next one will be sound and then down here we can just assign self.title and self.sound to the parameters of the function like here. So paste them both like that, boom. So now 
if we don't call get sound anymore, we'll have the same functionality. So check this out. So get rid of the call here, and then we'll do dot sound like so. So you can see, if I run it again, we get the same entry, and we don't need this helper function anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Check that out. Look how clean that code is. Now let's add one last entry, which will be a function that converts a, a mammal's age to human years. Now let's add a third entry to each enum, which is a function that converts its age in years to the equivalent in human years. So for dog, this is pretty easy. Um, I'm going to define a lambda x and one dog year is seven human years. So whatever their age is, just multiply it by seven and we should be good to go. A cat's age is pretty complicated. And instead of me trying to explain it before I type it out, let's go ahead and just code it in Python and hopefully it will make sense. So again, lambda x, we're going to return 15 if the cat is one. So their first year on this earth, they're 15 in our years. And then we're going to return 24 if they're two years old. So if x is two, otherwise, it gets pretty complicated here. We return 24 plus x minus 2 times 4. Now what does this mean? This got really complicated and we're just trying to learn enums. Basically, if the cat's older than 2, every year of their life after age 2 is 4 years of human years, if that makes sense. But I subtract 2 to account for the first two cases, right? So if the cat's 3, then we add 24 and then plus four to that, and the cat's 28. All right, and then finally, the simplest case by far, we just returned x for human years because whatever age a human is, that's that's it, right? Cool, so now let's go ahead and test this out. Before we do it, um, let's add it to the init function. So age to human years, like so, and then self dot assign it to itself right here. And then down here, I'm going to change this and we're going to pass in 10 for each of the functions like so. So now let's rerun this and see what happens. So Python. Uh, nice. So this checks out, right? Because a dog, when it's seven years to ours, you know, 10 years in a dog is 70 R years. Cat's age when they turn 10 is 56. And then human age when they're 10, obviously, is just 10 of our years. Nice. The last thing I want to mention is that you can have default parameters or default values to this init function. So this is a pretty redundant definition here and we didn't really need to do this. So what if we have the default parameter to init for age to human years just be lambda x, x like so. And then you can remove this right here and it works the same. Pretty simple tutorial. Python enums are great, and we were able to achieve all this from within the enum class.